Hello students, I am Mrs. Usha Vasani, your social studies teacher for form 5. Today, I am back with another exciting learning video. In our previous videos, we learnt about different continents and oceans. I had assigned you the work, I hope you all must have done that work, which you were supposed to write 3 to 4 points on each continent and oceans. Also, there was another video uploaded by Ms. Shraddha Khanderia, your another SS teacher for Form 5 on the imaginary lines, latitude and longitude, which is our chapter number 2. Students, these days you all are supposed to stay inside the house, not to go out for any of your classes, no dance class, no football nothing. You all must be hearing lots that the environment is not safe, not hygienic these days. So I thought, why don't we learn something about our environment? So today I have come up with the video of our chapter number 9, our environment. Now first of all, what is environment? Do you think that different types of trees or forests make our environment? No, it does not mean so. Environment means everything that is around us. It can be living or non-living things. Non-living things such as land, water and air make up the abiotic environment. All the living organisms like plants, animals, birds and humans make up the biotic environment. All these things are the elements of environment, meaning all these things together make up the environment. Students, the environment consists of four spheres, that is hydrosphere, atmosphere, geo or lithosphere and biosphere. The names of each sphere comes from the Greek words that describes that what they are made of. Meaning, hydro stands for water, atmo for air, geo for ground or soil and bio for life. Children, now let us take a short ride to all the spheres of the earth. Let us start our ride with hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is the sphere of water and is very important for the existence of life. As we have studied earlier, water covers 71% of the earth's surface and the remaining 29% is the land. It includes means the hydrosphere includes seawater and fresh water. Seawater is salty and is found in oceans. Whereas the sources of fresh water are the rivers, lakes, ponds, ice caps and also the moisture which is present in the atmosphere. As we all know that water is constantly in motion. It is in motion due to evaporation, condensation, precipitation. All these processes are happening again and again. Let us understand the concept of water cycle. During the daytime, when it is very hot, water evaporates from the rivers, lakes, oceans, etc. means any of the water bodies and rises as water vapor into the atmosphere. On cooling, this water vapor changes back into the water droplets and falls on the earth in form of rain means this entire process of changing of water from one form to another form is known as water cycle. Students, it means that water is needed for several purposes such as drinking, bathing, washing, gardening, cooking, etc. As we know, waterways are one of the oldest and the cheapest forms of transport fish and other marine life provide us with food. 
this is all about hydrosphere i hope children you have understood what the hydrosphere means let us move towards another sphere atmosphere children now listen to the instruction what i give you and try to follow that take a deep breath what do you feel don't you feel a cool or a tingling sensation in your nostrils do you know what that is it is air air is a part of atmosphere atmosphere is colorless and odorless layer of the gases surrounding the earth odorless means there is no smell it is like a shield that protects the earth from the harmful rays of sun the atmosphere consists of number of gases and water vapor in various proportions means the proportion of different gases is different like it consists uh, nitrogen 78% oxygen 21% and other gases such as carbon dioxide hydrogen argon and helium they are all found in traces children life is not possible without the atmosphere so it is a very very important sphere of earth now moving on towards the next sphere that is lithosphere or geosphere as i told earlier geo means ground and so this sphere is the surface of the earth that is made up of solid rock and soil it is also known as crust means in this picture you can see that the diagram shows us the different layers of the earth now you can see the last word that is crust which means the outermost layer of the earth which is known as crust it is the thinnest layer of the earth it is thinner under the ocean and thicker under the continents now below the crust there is another layer called mantle that middle layer is thicker than the crust but thinner than the core as we go deeper into the earth it gets hotter and hotter and the pressure increases the core has two parts that is outer core and inner core the outer core is liquid and the inner core is solid all the natural resources of the earth are found on the lithosphere which makes it very very important students now coming to an end of our ride we will now land on biosphere biosphere includes those parts of atmosphere lithosphere and hydrosphere where the life exists this is so because living organisms cannot exist without air land and water meaning air stands for atmosphere means any life cannot live cannot exist without atmosphere same as any one of us or any living thing cannot exist cannot sustain without water and same with the lithosphere that is land all the living things like plants animals and other creatures function together as a unit to make an ecosystem biosphere makes living on earth possible i think our ride to all the four spheres of the earth was exciting and fruitful wasn't it students now let us do a small recap on what we have learned today firstly we learned about what the environment means the environment is the natural world in which all the living organisms survive then we learned about how the environment is made up of it means the environment is made up of four different spheres that is hydrosphere atmosphere lithosphere and biosphere now coming up to the first sphere that is hydrosphere hydrosphere is made up of water and is very important for life to exist coming up to atmosphere it means 
it is the layer of gases that surrounds the earth then we learned about lithosphere lithosphere is the surface of the earth that is made up of solid rock and soil and the lastly and the very important sphere that is biosphere which includes all the parts of the hydrosphere atmosphere and lithosphere where living organisms are found children i hope you all must have understood all the different spheres of the earth and the concept must have been now clear in your mind students now i want you all to do the work which i'm going to tell you in your rough notebook and do it in writing now on your screen you can see the picture of venn diagram which shows you four spheres of environment there are three circles and those three circles are different one is of lithosphere other one is atmosphere and the third one is of hydrosphere but when they are merging that is when they are uh, overlapping each other it means that it has some similarity and when it overlaps each other it makes or it shows biosphere now lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere are three different spheres but when they are together they make the sphere called biosphere so i want you all to make a venn diagram in your notebook and practice doing it i also want you all to do the mind map of different spheres of earth you can see on the screen and copy same in your notebook and try to practice remembering it in the in this way you can see i have written the heading as spheres of earth namely lithosphere it consists of means it is made up of rocks and soil then hydrosphere which consists of water in all forms meaning sea water and the fresh water that are the sources like lake river etc then coming up to atmosphere it is a layer of gases and the biosphere which consists of all the living things students please note that i will be sending you the pdf of mind map and venn diagram in our group i hope you all must have understood that how you are supposed to practice the given work in your notebook students i hope i am very clear about what we have learn today thank you students stay home stay safe i'll be back with another learning video very soon